I'm Leanne Kusumana Roquet, certified Iyengar yoga teacher at Yoga for All Bodies in Western Virginia in the United States. Let's talk hyperextension and why it matters. First, the legs. Hyperextension is when the calf moves back faster than the knee. So, here is a straight leg, here is a hyperextended leg. To get a straight leg when you're in the habit of hyperextending, bend the knees and pull the four corners of the knees up. One, two, three, four of the knees up so that the front thigh muscles lift up. Do that instead of straightening the legs by pushing the, the knees back. Pull up rather than pushing back. Why does it matter? Let's take a very common pose, Trikonasana triangle pose. All right? So, if we come into triangle pose and we get ready to go into the pose, if we're a hyperextender, the knee collapses like this, right? And when we try and go out, there's no space for this thigh bone to seat into the hip socket. It's getting stuck here in the knee. So, instead, if we get a straight leg by pulling the thigh muscle up, and then we can draw this thigh bone into the hip socket to get the length and extension that we need in this pose. Okay. Another place to look at this is in downward facing dog. Okay. So. If you're in the habit of hyperextending, your downward facing dog might look like this. Notice that my knees are pushed back. Instead, bend the knees, pull the four corners of the knees up to straighten the legs. Look at what's happening. I'm getting much more length and extension in the back. And then also flex at the ankle rather than locking into the knee. While we're here, let's talk hyperextension of the arms. This is a hyperextended arm. Can you see how my elbow dents in? I'm going to show from the front as well. Here. Okay? It is not a straight arm. To straighten the arm, it's very analogous to straightening the leg. You bend the elbow out to the side and pull the tricep muscle in and up to straighten the arm. That's a straight arm. So, why does it matter? Because when you get the bones stacked on top of each other, instead of the elbow joint taking the stress, you'll build strength. It's the muscle that does the work instead of the joint, which over time can be very bad for the joints. So, to start your downward facing dog, bend the elbows out to the side, draw the triceps up to straighten the arms. Keep that, bring the buttocks back towards the heels, push back to lift up, pull the four corners of the knees up to straighten the legs. And then you have a much more stable downward facing dog. Now, if you're not quite sure whether you're getting it, one of the things that you can do is take a strap, make it shoulders width apart, and for downward facing dog, also for handstand, you can put it right on the joint, so you can tell if you're pressing out into the strap. This seems to be now let's try it. It might be a little wide. Okay, so pressing out into the strap does what I did by bending the elbows out to the side. And then push back to lift up. Push out into the strap, out into the strap. Draw the tricep in and up. Tricep in and up. And then I'm taking the hyperextension out of my knees, hinging at the ankles and pulling the front thigh muscle up to get the length and extension. See how many yoga poses and in daily life you can apply this to. You'll find that it radically changes your practice when you start using the muscles instead of hanging in the joints.